welcome to yoga today. So we're going to do a fun flow just to open our bodies, stretch and feel ready for the day. So let's start with our feet just about hip width apart and we're going to lift up all of our toes and we're going to start spreading from our baby toe down to our big toe. As we're doing this we can just stand nice and tall, maybe even rolling the shoulders back. Maybe we want to close our eyes or maybe we just want to keep the gaze open but softly looking down and then we'll lift all of our toes again, spread from the big toe down to the baby toe. Just let each toe stretch out one at a time. And then once we ground through both feet, let's start to do a little sway from the side of one foot to the other. And just notice how if we go too far, one foot might leave the floor. Really check in that both your feet feel really grounded. And then we'll start to shift side towards the toes, towards the sides of the feet, back towards the heels. We'll just make this circular movement and try to find that center, find that core. So when we get to some standing balance work, we feel strong and supported. Let's take that circle the other way. Just continuing that circle around. Take another big breath in. And then we'll pause, center shoulders back, chest open, heart open. Take a moment, closing the eyes. Just noticing how you're feeling today. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let's sweep our arms high, breathe in. And we're going to exhale, take a fold forward. So start to hinge from the hips as we come forward, letting our head fall down. Maybe even shaking the head back. Letting the head shake side to side roll. Just letting any tension release from the neck. And then we'll soften the knees. We'll place our right hand down and start to raise up the left arm. If you'd like to start to lengthen the knees, go right ahead. But you can also just keep your knees bent or use a block or place your hand on your ankle or calf, whatever's feeling good. Let's take one more big breath in and exhale. Bend the knees again, switch sides, one hand down, up the arm reaching up. Feel that leg, feel that twist, breathe in. Exhale again, breathe in. Exhale, one more big breath in. And then we'll exhale, release. This time as we reach up, we're gonna go back to the first side. We're gonna circle our wrists. One, two, three, and four. Reverse, one, two, three, and four. Switching sides, take the other hand up. Circle one, two, three, and four. Reverse, one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna take both hands down, take our hands behind our back. Draw the arms up, tuck our chin down, and then start to lengthen the legs. So we're feeling some length through the back of the leg. Big breath in. Exhale, release the hands, soften the knees, and we'll slowly roll up to stand again. From here, sweeping the arms high, gaze up at the hands, let's sit our hips back. And keeping the chest lifted, we're going into chair pose. We're going to breathe in, and then we're going to exhale. Start to twist one hand forward, one hand back. Sweep the arms high again, switching sides, other arm forward, other arm back. Come back up, palms together, taking right elbow outside of the knee. Take a twist, twist the chair, maybe even open the hands here. And then palms back together, other side. Take your twist, twist the chair. Again, maybe open the hands if you feel right. Good, breathe in. Exhale, palms back together. Let's stand up. And now let's step our feet wide. Open out to a big star shape. Breathe in. Exhale, pull the elbows back. And we'll reach the arms out. So think about shoulder blades squeezing together, chest pressing open, and then fingertips reaching out. Breathe in. Exhale, two more. Breathe in. Exhale, one more time. Breathe in. Exhale, we'll take index finger and thumb together, pull the elbows in, we'll lift up our heels, chest open, heart open, shoulders back, and just hold here in God's pose for three breaths, waking up those legs, breathe in, exhale again, breathe in, exhale, one more breath in, good, exhale, lower the heels, come up, palms together, and let's step up to the front corner of our mat. So we're going to sweep our arms up high, breathe in, exhale, take a big forward fold, hug the legs, lift the chest, lift the gaze, and then we're going to bend our knees, take our hands around the feet, and let's just the left leg back. Let's slowly release our left knee, release the top of the foot, and just start to feel the front of our left hip stretching, okay? So as we're here, take a moment, maybe we want to move our hands up to the knee. 
to reach out your hand. Just check and send that heel right over the top, ground through the foot, spread through the toes, maybe arch back. And then we'll put right here to take our right arm. Sweep it back. Look back at that left foot. This might be enough, or you might even pull that left foot in if it feels good. Take a moment or two to breathe here. Now we're twisting in our high lunge. Maybe we're holding here, maybe we're opening, maybe we're wrapping the pose. Take a moment, breathe in. Exhale again, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. As we exhale, finally release both hands down around the front foot, and let's start to straighten through that front leg. Relax the foot, shift your weight back in towards that left heel. And then settle the right toes down. So if your legs feel too wide apart here, you can just step your back foot a little closer. Settle in, find a good triangle position where you can let your chest fall over your front leg. Notice your hips, if the weight's more in one hip or the other, you can kind of shift the weight towards the left hip, then maybe back up towards the right hip. And find a place where you can really even out that weight between both legs. Feel that stretch, take a moment, breathe in. Exhale, take one more breath in. Now, if you have some blocks or anything you want to put in front of you here, you can put something right in front of your foot. Otherwise, just place your hands a little bit in front of your right foot. We're going to start to lift the left toes off the floor and then gently release the toe ball, heel back down. So just start to push off those toes, gently release. One more time. And release. Now let's push off those back toes and start to raise the leg. It might come up halfway, maybe higher, wherever you're at. Find your standing split position. We're still kind of warming up, so don't worry if this feels a little tight, but we're going to wake up by bending our left knee behind the right, coming across that right knee, and then extending. So think about stretching through the hips as we cross left knee over right, and then we extend the legs apart. A few more times here. Breathe in. Exhale, extend the legs. Two more times, breathe in. Exhale, extend the legs. One more time, breathe in. Exhale, extend the legs. Here's where we get to try a fun balance. So let's take right hand back, left hand back, and lead with our chest. Lift through our heart, come through, warrior three. Stay there if you can. If you fall, come back. Check in with your balance, breathe in. Exhale, when you're ready, let's draw left knee up. Palms in front of the heart, take a moment, breathe in. Just for a moment, hold on to the left knee, draw it up towards the chest. Hold that left knee with your right hand as you can get extend left hand back. If this is easy for you, maybe you want to hold the foot and extend. Feel free to try it, but you can also keep holding that knee. One more breath, and release left foot. Both hands sweep up. Beautiful job, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Great job. Bend the knees, hands down to the mat. Right leg lunges back this time. So we're going to repeat this on the second side. Take a moment and so softly release right knee down. Release the toes. Check in through the front of the right hip. See how you're feeling here. Feeling that stretch. Deep breaths in and out. Releasing any tension as it comes up. Feel free to come up. Hands maybe to the knee. Feel free to raise the arms, engage through that core, maybe arch back. And when we're ready, we're going to take our right hand down, left arm reaching up and back. Maybe we just hold this twist and gaze back. Maybe we pull the back foot in. See how the front of that right hip is feeling? Release any tension there. Breathe in. Exhale, take another breath in. Exhale, one more big breath in. And then as we exhale, we'll take left 
hand around to tuck that right toe back under. We're in our high lunge position. Breathe in. Exhale, raise the left arm up. It's not already there. Then twist and high lunge. Now you can grab that wrist up here. We're just going to pull this right up to stand. Maybe we just hold our twist here. Maybe we take the left hand on our lower back and we try our arm up. Or maybe we let that left hand slide down the right way. Wherever we're at, keep twisting, breathe in, and then we'll exhale, take right up, we'll forward, left knee. So maybe we're just here. You might even just put a hand out if you prefer to stay up higher, or you can go deeper, maybe open, or maybe wrap the fold. If you're wrapping, right hand goes around the outside of the left leg, underneath, and left hand goes behind the back to connect. Breathe in. Exhale. Take one more big breath in. Good. As we exhale, hands around that front leg. Let's slide our back heel in a little bit and meet up in this triangle position. So just find a good space where you can really feel the length behind the backs of the knees, through the calves, through the hamstring. Feel free to grab some blocks or anything to bring your hands high. Maybe even just putting your hands up on the shin. But take a few more moments to breathe. Right. When we're ready, we're going to start to wrap that right foot up and back down. So again, hands can be a little bit forward up your front leg, maybe on a block, or maybe you're reaching the floor. Just start to think about how that foot is moving through the right foot. Toe, ball, heel, then lifting up heel, ball of the foot, toe. Feel that change in the stretch on the left leg as the right foot lifts and comes back down. And then when we're ready, we're going to push up that right toe, start to raise it. Raise it up just as high as you feel comfortable going. Use all of your toes in the floor on that standing leg, helping support you. Breathe in. Exhale. When we're ready to challenge, we'll come up. But before we do that, let's add our bends in. So bending right knee in. We're going to go across the outside of the left leg, tuck in, and then stretch apart. This is allowing our left calf to stretch, so keep that heel grounded. If you let your left heel come up, you're no longer going to feel that stretch. So you want to keep pushing this heel down, stretch apart. Keep that left heel pushing down. Stretch the legs away. One more time, breathe in, pull everything together. Exhale, stretch away. Now as we're holding here, right hand back by the head, breathe in. So lift through the chest, left hand up, see if we can find our warrior three. Maybe just hold in here, breathe in. Exhale, you got this, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in, we're gonna exhale, bring our palms in front of the heart, bring the right knee up. Take a moment, catch our breath. Good job, let's take that knee up towards the chest with the hand, left hand on the right knee, and let's sweep right hand back. This might be enough. If you wanna extend the leg, you can. See how that might feel for you. Breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. Exhale, release that foot. Great job. Sweep both arms high. Breathe in. Exhale, let's take a big forward fold. Lift the chest, lift the gaze, bend the knees, hands around the feet. This time, instead of lunging one leg back, you can lunge one leg at a time until you meet up in plank, or you can hop right back to plank. So see how you want to get there. If plank is a bit much, do a half plank. Drop the knees. Whatever you need to do to feel supported through the core. Belly button towards the spine. Breathe in. Exhale again. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath in. As we exhale, we're going to bend the elbows. Lower chin around the curl. Shoulders back. Maybe come up halfway. Maybe come up higher. Let's roll up and down three times. So roll me down. Breathe in. Exhale, roll back up and lift the gaze. Roll down, nose towards the floor, and we'll roll back up. Gaze up, one more time, breathe in. Exhale up, now let's take our shoulders, take a little twist to the left, breathe in. Exhale, take our shoulders, a little twist to the right, breathe in. Exhale, center, legs come close together, let's roll to our right hip, back over the tops of the thighs, left hip. Good, back through center, round the spine, and let's send our hips back to child's pose. So do a couple ways. This is kind of like cat cow, but it has a little more movement. So you can always come back up to hands and knees and just take cat cow a few times if you prefer. But we're going to try, if you'd like to, to do a little wave here. So how this works is we come up through a big cat stretch. 
So pat the foot, you're doing a big calf stretch, but then we're gonna let the weight shift over the knees, start to release front of the thighs and hips until we curl up into like an upward dog. So if you need to come down lower, that's fine. And then we tuck our chin, we go back up through that curve, back into child's pose. So let's wave through this at our own pace about three times, breathing in. Exhale, rounding and floating back. Round that spine up, release, big back bend, breathe in. Exhale, sitting back one more time. And coming back, let's stay in that child's pose for a moment. Breathe in and out, let your forehead release, let your hands and wrists relax. Let's tuck our toes under from right where we're at. We're going to add on to that little flow. So this time, you're going to pop up off the knees. When you come up, stretch through a plank. Lower chaturanga. Curl up cobra or upper dog. And then pass back through downward dog. Let's try that a few times at our own pace. If that begins to feel too much, go back to what we did on that first flow, coming from the knees. Otherwise, shifting through plank. Lower chaturanga. Curl it up. Cobra upper dog, back through downward dog. Two more times, plank, lower down. Breathing in, curling up, exhaling downward dog. One more time, plank, lower down, curling up. And then we have our downward dog. We're gonna raise our right leg nice and high, breathe in. Exhale, lunge the right foot up to the top of the mat. Pivot the back heel, sweep the arms high, warrior one, breathe in. Let's reach everything back out. 
And let's now bend our right knee. Sweep our left hand back. See if we can find that foot. Lift, breathe. All right, let's reach everything back out. Now bend both knees, sweep hands back. If your hands meet your feet, grab them. If you'd like to, join us for both. And maybe wrap up. If that's a bit much today, keep reaching back in your locust. One more breath in, wherever we're at. Exhale, one more breath in, release. Calm down, let your head maybe turn to one side for a moment. Beautiful, beautiful job. All right, we're gonna gently press up like a half push up to our knees, round back into child's pose. And we're gonna get ready to release the shoulders a little bit. Take one more big breath in. Then exhale, come up to the hands and knees. We're gonna arch the back again, head and tailbone down. Release head and tailbone up. We're gonna do a little thread the needle. So we're gonna take left arm high, thread our left arm under the right, left shoulder and side of the head to the mat, and we're pushing a little bit with the right hand. So we're feeling a stretch hopefully from that left shoulder all the way up, almost diagonal towards that right hip. Take one more breath in. So see if we can extend the right leg back and then push the right hand into the floor and reach and extend the left leg forward. From here, we're welcome to try raising the right leg up. Pull it in for three breaths, breathe in. Exhale again, breathe in. Exhale, one more breath in. Now as we exhale, drop the right knee, that left hand circle up. We're gonna maybe take left hand to our low back and reach, or maybe coming into a half camel. Reach back, breathe in. Beautiful job. Setting the hips down as we round back through a child's pose. Take a moment. Come up. Take that cat stretch again. And we'll take our right arm high. Breathe in. Exhale. Let's thread. Right shoulder, side of the head to the mat. Notice how we're feeling your release between the shoulder blades. Take about two to three more breaths. Stabilizing through that front leg. 
one more time, breathe in. Exhale, chest comes forward. Arms up, breathe in. Then we'll go through our next vinyasa flow. Hands around that front foot, stack your foot, lower chaturanga, cobra upward dog, and let's lean up in our downward dog. Walk the feet out. Raise the right leg high, breathe in. Exhale, send right knee up towards the hands, and send that leg back. Right knee now comes towards the left elbow. Send the leg back. Right knee comes center of the chest again. Send the leg back. Right knee comes outside of right elbow. Exhale, send the leg back. And finally, right knee comes to the center of the chest. We release the pigeon. So release that right knee. Left knee faces the mat, top of the foot faces the mat. We're going to lift through the chest. Exhale, let our body fold over this front knee. Take about three to five breaths here. Job. Let's come back up to the hands. Tuck left toe under. Notice I'm just kind of coming up with this leg straight. So if you choose to do that, you can even take a moment and cross that right thigh over the left. And then set it back down when you're ready. We're going to raise up our left leg. Breathe in. Exhale. Left knee comes to the chest. Send the leg back. Breathe in. Exhale. Left knee over to right elbow. If you're tired, you can always come into pigeon sooner. Left knee center of the chest. Exhale, send it back. Left knee outside of left elbow. We're almost there. Left knee center of the chest last time and then release for pigeon. So remember, heel can be close to your hip, maybe up a little higher. Back knee faces the mat, top of the foot faces the mat. We're going to lift our chest. Breathe in. Exhale, flare chest come over that front leg. We're just going to circle 
the knees towards our chest, one hand on each knee, and then let the knees pull away from one another, drop and circle back in. You can do this with your hands by your side or on the knees, but just circling the knees in and away, and then reverse in that direction. And then when you feel a little open through the hips, let your knees just drop open. You might choose to set feet together, recline butterfly, or you can lift the feet, or maybe take happy baby, holding calves, ankles, or feet, drawing the knees down, lengthening the lower back and tailbone, maybe even rocking a little side to side. If you need more, maybe adding a straddle, stretching it open, breathe in. And then we're gonna exhale, float our feet above us. Just look up at your feet, Start to circle those ankles. We start in class with a lot of feet movement or feet engagement into the floor. Now we're finishing up with releasing, letting go of tension in those feet. So you can pause here for a few breaths, swifting legs up to wall position, and then come into Shavasana when you're ready. Or you might choose to do a shoulder stick or a plow. Whatever's feeling good, take about three to five breaths or so. Whatever you're feeling, with one last pose with your legs above you, allowing some chance for the blood flow in your body to reverse. And when you feel ready, you can make your way to Shavasana. So just take a few moments and breathe. Starting to get into that relaxed state and starting to focus on being already here with you. Some things you're grateful for today that you want to keep with you through the rest of your day. Get into your Shavasana. Take a few moments. Close the eyes. Maybe one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. Just allow your breath to fill your lungs, fill your whole body. Breathe in.